Ladies and gentlemen, I want to report some pretty interesting news pertaining to Elon Musk and Ron DeSantis. This is really, really interesting, and I want you to keep an open mind. I think it's fascinating for a number of reasons, and here we go. CNBC, Musk says he's leaning towards voting for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for president. Elon Musk said he would likely vote for Ron DeSantis for president in 2024. Now, I have two segments after this one pertaining to huge victories, monumental victories in Texas and in South Carolina for the Republican Party. These are Trump Republicans that are winning and and defeating never-Trumpers and Democrats. Now... I understand that Donald Trump has taken over the Republican Party. I want that to happen. I want a leader of the GOP that opposes the Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts and that horrible, terrible foreign policy of the past 20 years that President Obama also advocated Democrats and Republicans have been two sides of the same coin in terms of never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts and military interventions and quagmires. So, Donald Trump was a great president, and I support Donald Trump. And, and, and sometimes I do these segments on Ron DeSantis, and I have some people in the comments section say, saying, don't, don't um, divide us. Yeah, you know, DeSantis is better as governor. It's like, I'm not dividing anyone. And I'm not, like, saying that he's not a good governor. What I am saying is the following. Elon Musk, so, okay, so Yahoo News, Elon Musk say, says he would likely vote for Ron DeSantis for president in 2024. This is huge. This is huge. And here's why it's huge. In my view, Donald Trump deserves a second term. We had a fantastic economy until people like Andrew Cuomo got an Emmy for tanking their state economies um, and doing a lot worse also, according to other Democrats in New York. His handling of you-know-what was atrocious. 13 to 15,000 New Yorkers directly responsible with his, his decisions directly impacted the lives or ended the ended those of of 13 to 15,000. That's according to Democrats in New York. That's not me. It's according to Democrats in New York. In addition to everything else, the former governor of New York was accused of. Now, but that being said, you had people, his last year in office is a different story. Democrats gleefully uh, pushed to end economic activity. We're experiencing the repercussions now. Inflation, 8 to 9%. Gas prices doubled. Diesel prices doubled. Um, recession, possible. There could possibly be a depression. And I talk about that in the stock market crash channel in about an hour. And so hit subscribe to this channel, the stock market crash channel, and the Bitcoin crash for 10,000 or lower channel. That's below in the description section. I called and predicted everything we're seeing right now. Unfortunately, it's going to get a lot worse. Go to the description section in September of 2021. I said we'd have a stock market crash, a crypto crash. In September of 2021, I was talking about this. And I said we would have all of this. And I was published in The Federalist in October of 2021. And that article is below in the description section and the pinned comment. But ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk is endorsing Ron DeSantis. And I think that's a great thing. I think Ron DeSantis could actually even be Even though I want Trump back in the Oval Office, I think DeSantis could be better. Democrats fear Ron DeSantis. They don't really fear Trump. You have to understand why they don't really fear Trump. Okay, if you disagree with me in the comments section, please do. Please disagree with me. But they don't fear. They're not afraid of Donald Trump. They understand the Republican Party is is being reshaped and you know, completely revamped and is transforming into a Trump Republican Party. DeSantis is somebody that they fear because they don't have the animosity, the indignation, 
They don't have the emotional fuel. Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen, if you've lasted this long five minutes? Democrats run on emotional fuel, like the diesel fuel that is like double in price that could, that could lead to a depression. If we, if, if, transportation in this country will grind to a halt once if diesel gets even more expensive. So we're heading into not only a recession, but a possible economic depression for a number of reasons. $120 plus dollar per barrel oil, geopolitical nightmares. Mashed potato brains, our president currently is an, like terrible in every in like in almost every way. His administration is presiding over an economic collapse and ter- and the foreign policy that just sees endless geopolitical nightmares. But here, DeSantis will have a better chance at winning. DeSantis will have a much better chance at winning, in my view. You get everything that you want with Donald Trump in terms of the policies, the economic growth, the foreign policy that opposes the Lincoln Project. Um, And you get a lot of the good things that Donald Trump did. Look, Donald Trump allocated more funding to historically black colleges and universities than any president ever. He signed an executive and made the funding permanent. He signed an executive order combating anti-Semitism on college campuses, which was running rampant. He negotiated the Abraham Accords, the Doha Agreement that Biden completely botched. Uh, He was the first President Trump to step foot in North Korea uh, and begin a a detente between North and South Korea. Um, Hundreds of thousands of manufacturing jobs under Trump. We had, a, we had a strong enough economy where we could impose tariffs, which was a, which was a short-term st- tactic for a long-term strategy, and steel CEOs were pushing for that for a long time. Steel CEOs in Europe pushed their governments for that also, if you read up on that issue. He did a lot of good things, okay? The media was not only unfair, the media is now making quotes up. They accused him with with Brennan and Comey and Strzok and McCabe and Clapper and intelligence agencies and intelligence chiefs picked a political side. They sided with Democrats. They tried to accuse him based on a dossier purchased by Clinton. Okay, nobody like Comey will go to bat for Trump. They might even indict him. So, I mean, Comey said, well, there's no intent for Clinton to, to transfer top-secret intelligence onto servers running outside of the United States government, which is, of course, a crime. Serious crime. And I want a Clinton-Trump or Clinton-DeSantis. I want a Hillary Clinton-DeSantis or Hillary Clinton-Trump 2024. But you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, because we need to redo 2016. In, in one, way, one way or another, we have to relive that 2016 moment and exercise those demons. But people... I'm not dividing anyone. My God Almighty, please. I'm not saying, I'm not, you know, abandoning Trump. I think Trump was a great president. If you just strip away the personality and tweets, he was a good president. Like, no doubt. We had a record-breaking economy. It's taken two years just to get to um, the unemployment numbers. But now we have... um, Record highs in inflation, record lows in consumer sentiment, oil and gas and diesel prices have, have doubled, or you know, gas and diesel prices have doubled. We're heading into a recession and a possible long-term depression, and geopolitical problems, food shortages, supply chain nightmares. Um, I mean, it's a catastrophe. The president of mashed potato brains is a catastrophe. However, you have to ask yourself, do you want to win? Or do you want to just be loyal to somebody who deserves another chance? So Trump deserves another chance. He deserves another chance. Okay, but he already was president. And I think that his perhaps ability or patience with media is not there. DeSantis is a cool customer. He was exactly what Trump was in 2015. A cool customer, able to go ahead and, 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 and put a mirror to media, petulant, you know, lifelong, beautiful, highly educated liberal Democrats who want to just, who are activists posing as journalists. 
And the almost all of media is that. And so Trump did a good job in 2015, but in 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 like four years later, five years later, it wasn't he he had no patience anymore. That's the issue. He's also been to the mountaintop, and it's like it's like he has no patience anymore for the media. And they might indict him, not because he committed a crime, but just because they want to derail his presidency or candidacy. That would open up to the second string quarterback who could be an even better candidate in this era. That's all I'm saying. My God. Hit subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Thank you so very, very much. Elon Musk is making a statement, but it's a statement I think a lot of people are making. Again, I'm not I'm not turning my back on Trump. I'll vote for Trump again. And they say, when you say, well, how could you do that if you were a Bernie Sanders supporter? <laughs> Trump is what Bernie Sanders claimed to be. Anti-Lincoln Project and great economy. God, it's so, that's not difficult to understand. The media hysteria they would have done with Bernie also. And he would have fallen in line. Probably not fought them in the manner that the Orange Menace did. Which was, you know, he had to. But anyway, hit subscribe to this channel right now. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel and the Bitcoin Crash channel. I say Trump had to because he that's his nature. Bernie Sanders just falls in line and says, Thank you, may I have another? May I get cheated again? They cheated Bernie Sanders in 2016. My God. I, it was so difficult watching Bill Maher. It's like, it's like nobody admits... On the left, that Bernie was cheated in 2016. Anyway, hit subscribe to this channel. Tell me your thoughts. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash Channel and the Bitcoin Crash Channel right now. Thank you.